Well, this is a, a, a film that's going to replace the lecture that I was going to give you, so I hope you, that you've uh, all had a good lie in and that you're watching this at some point over Christmas and perhaps you're looking at this while your mum and dad are watching the Queen's Speech. So, what we're looking at today are digital communication levers and the reason we're looking for that is you've got a couple of problems. One is you've got to produce a digital marketing strategy poster, you've got to create a market segmentation exercise, you've got to describe a typical digital customer voyage, you have to produce the digital customer experience and you've got to discuss the use of uh, customer variables that you're going to observe in the digital customer experience. So what do you need to learn in order to deal with that? Well, we need to look at how the digital world affects marketing communications. We've got to look at what digital marketing levers are. We need to think about what the six stages of the digital communication process are when we use them in marketing. And we need to think about how we can implement integrated marketing and communication levers across the four electronic relationship stages. So, first thing we need to think about is how the digital world affects marketing communication. And the obvious thing to look at is the effects of interactivity and individualization on digital communication. One of the things that individualization allows us to do is it allows us to create more targeted communications to individual customers. It means that by creating individualized marketing communications, we're creating the kind of communication that's relevant to a consumer. It also means that individual customers themselves can control the type and amount of information that's flowing towards them. On the other hand, interactivity actually allows us to uh, develop a relationship and build a relationship up by having two-way communication. It also allows you to track the kind of responses customers make to marketing communications so we can see some kind of feedback and measure the success of the kind of communications that we have with them. And ultimately it allows consumers to actually you know, see what we're doing and actually uh, engage with us in a, in a much more promising and active way. Depending on what we use will affect how a customer actually moves through the electronic relationship stages. So for example, uh, a not particularly interactive piece of communication might be a banner ad, but we might use a banner ad to raise awareness of our organisation. That banner ad might link to uh, a website, which is where a customer uh, may start to explore and expand their knowledge of us and our products. And if they then go and personalise, individualise that website, maybe they give us details, maybe they provide a lot of information about themselves, uh, they're moving towards commitment because they're starting to engage with us more fully, um, allowing us to communicate with them in a much more active way.